stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for 30 seconds of silence. This is Jermaine. Hunter with Sports News. And I'm Hector with GNN, your Grizzly News Network. Today is Wednesday, February 27th, 2019. Students, I hope you're participating in the Nevada Reading Week Trivia Contest for your chance to win a gift card to Barnes & Noble and a stash of snacks. Here are your questions for Wednesday, February 27th. 1. What superpower nation had an empire so large that the sun never set on it? 2. Which Central American nation has produced 95% of its electricity from hydro, geothermal, solar, and wind over the past four years? 3. In the 1930s, the Pack Horse Library Initiative was established to help Americans become more literate so that they'd have a better chance of finding employment. Who were the superpower heroines on horseback? 4. Hyperion, Nighthawk, and the Wizard are all members of what superhero team? 5. Iceland's electricity is produced almost entirely from what two renewable energy sources? Our winners so far this week include Catherine Lee, Mia Hunt, Fiker Ayalu, Bianca Galarza, Gabe Randall, Noah Ortega, Blessed West, Yesenia Robels Hernandez, Miss Yeager, and Mr. Backman. Students, Gaming Club is hosting a Dragon Ball Fighters tournament on Friday, March 1st at 1.30 in the library. Gaming Club members are free and non-club members are $5 to be paid at the bank. Spectators are a dollar at the door. Please pay by Thursday, February 28th to reserve your spot in the Dragon Ball Fighters tournament. Hey Grizzlies! Some of the campus clubs and organizations are raising money to help battle blood cancer and support young patients here in Las Vegas. Help these heroes by participating in the Spring Valley Penny Wars this week. Bring your loose change to your English class and drop it in the donation box. Here's more information. Grizzlies, have you been missing out on the Penny Wars? Here's a clip to see how you can have some fun donating to help local kids battling cancer. And now for a quick scoring update. Sophomores jumped out to an early lead with lots of donations in Mrs. Hubbard's English classes. They have a 767 point lead over the freshmen, which means Mr. Boucher and Miss Hahn are well on their way to getting pied. Bring in that loose change, freshmen. Juniors donated nearly 500 pennies on day one, plus a bunch of bills. Seniors made a strong effort to start, but were thwarted by some quarters and dimes from the junior class. After two days, the junior class has a strong lead with over 2,000 points, and juniors are in the red with negative 383 points. Step up your game, seniors, and donate to Miss Duvall and Miss 
P today. Don't worry if you haven't taken part in this fundraiser. We have more ways to help. Puck for a Buck will be helped in, held in the quad during lunch on Thursday. Bring a dollar and shoot a street hockey ball. If you make it into the net, you'll be entered to win some Grizzly gear or some Amazon gift cards. One dollar, one shot. All proceeds will be donated to the Leukemia Lymphoma Society. See you there. Hey Grizzlies, here's a CERT video for this week. And have you checked your CERT scores? Hi, I'm Andre, and today I'm going to be helping you guys out with some of the problems you've had on the CERT test. Given the problem, the figure below is a rectangle that has been divided into three separate regions. Two of the regions are shaded and one is unshaded as shown. What is the ratio of the total shaded area to the unshaded area? Given the time limit, you need to think critically. Using a straight edge, you can divide the figure in two. In order to make it simpler, you can look at it as two separate figures. As you can see, these parts have a ratio of 1 to 1. On to the other side, these two also have a ratio of 1 to 1. Given that both parts are 1 to 1, we can assume that the ratio of the entire figure is also 1 to 1. Knowing that, circle the correct answer and move on quickly. I hope this helped you understand the topic a little better. And now, back to you. The last chance to take your Friendship Friday photos is this Friday. If you have already took your Friendship Friday photos, you cannot do them again. Who's that? Come on. It's your last chance to participate in Friendship Friday. They appear on the bottom of each yearbook page. If you and your friends want to be featured in the yearbook, be sure to get your picture taken this Friday at lunch in the quad. And remember, if you have already taken your Friendship Friday photo, we need new faces. News. Thank you, Jermaine. The Pop-Tart Cart, located near the banking office at Nutrition Break, benefits the Swim and Dive Team program. Thank you for your business. Now here's Hector with some more news around campus. Thank you, Hunter. Attention students, all those who wish to take AP exams should submit their payment to the banker by this Friday, March 1st. See your AP teacher or counselor for more information if you, do not have, if you have questions. Do not wait until the last minute to pay. Here's more information. I'm sure there are a lot of people talking to you about the importance of taking your advanced placement exams, paying the $94 and, and taking that exam. One thing they may not have mentioned to you is that there's research to support taking that exam. It's called the power of two. So even if you have a two on your AP exam, research suggests that you will be far more successful in college, that there's far more likelihood that you will graduate college in four years. So please make sure that you finish this advanced placement course right. Take the exam. Um, as far as taking the test, what's important about it is, I mean, obviously college credit. And if you get a four or five at UNR, they will give you six credits of English. So you can completely bypass 101 and 102 if you go to UNR. UNLV, you'll get English 101 with a four or five. It's important for students to take the AP test um, because it allows you to get college credit when you pass. and so. When it comes time for you to head off to college, you've paid $90 to take the AP exam, and when you pass that, you might save yourself a couple hundred dollars in the um, course. So we have amazing AP teachers. Um, they have spent a ton of time preparing you guys for these tests, and it would seem silly for you to skip out on the opportunity to get college credit. So why not step up and give it a shot? To reserve your spot for your AP exam, make sure you pay your $15 non-refundable deposit to the banker as soon as possible. BSU will be representing Black History Month by selling soul food plates. Pre-sale orders for soul food plates will be taken during lunch by the bear or you can report to room 830. Two bone ribs with mac and cheese plate including cornbread and butter for $12. Four bone ribs with mac and cheese and greens plate including cornbread and butter for $15. Deliveries will be on February 28th during lunch. Also, please make sure you have all orders and payments in. 
Clark High School will be hosting a college and career fair on April 2nd. This is a great opportunity to meet many college, college representatives as well as learning about career and workforce opportunities. We would like to invite 45 students to attend to this fair. Please see Mr. Naguyan in room 202 for permission slips. Permission slips must be returned to Mr. Naguyan by Friday, March 8th. Now here's Michaela with the weather. Thank you. It's a beautiful day today. It makes a cloud sun throughout the day, so you can say it's mostly sunny. A high of 69 and a low of 47. Winds south-southwest at 2 miles per hour currently, with a possibility of 10 to 20 miles per hour later on throughout the day. Let's not forget the humidity of 62%. In other news, another atmospheric river event is pummeling California with feet of snow in the Sierra Nevada mountains, shattering February snow records at some ski resorts, while also triggering floodings, rock slides, and mudslides in the lower heights. Thank you, Michaela. This was Hector, Hunter, and Jermaine of the Grizzly News Network. Have a, Have wonderful, a wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday Grizzlies. Grizzlies.